slave labor camp at Nordhausen, liberated by the 3rd Armored Division, 1st Army. At least 3,000 political prisoners died here at the brutal hands of SS troops and pardoned German criminals who were the camp guards. Nordhausen had been a depository for slaves found unfit for work in the underground V-bomb plants and in other German camps and factories. Then the actual burial in common graves of the 2,500 Nordhausen victims. Is that hard to watch? Yep. We rode in on the tanks. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the armored, armored. We were on the tanks. That's how we got there. Yeah. Did you know what you were going to be heading towards? Did they give you any no, sense? We, we, <coughs> no. We just wandered in and saw what, what was going on, yeah. S saw what you, what you just saw. So you were there early on? Yeah, yeah. What was, the, what was the reaction among your, your fellow troop members? It was, it was hard to believe. Deations and, mm -hmm. and, and bodies and piles. Yeah. Uh, there's had to be some real sense of revulsion of this. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it was. Although we'd seen dead people before, let's say, it wasn't as though we weren't used to seeing corpses. Right. So it, perhaps for us it was not quite as shocking as it might have been for civilians or, mm -hmm. or others from the... Were there Germans still there? Were there people? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They had they they as you saw in the movie, they had the Germans come in and and dig the the trenches to to and and, and load the corpses into the trenches and cover them up. That was the citizens, but also the soldiers. Were, had they left by then? Oh yeah, they'd left. Uh, yeah, they just took off. Graduated from high school in '43. Went in in in. Uh, uh, went in that summer and went to Princeton from uh, January to March. Mm -hmm. And at that point, the, that program was, uh, we were studying basic engineering at Princeton. We, we, were in our, we were in our uniforms. We had been, uh, we'd had basic training at Fort Benning, Georgia, infantry basic training, which was pretty rugged because most of the non-coms were washout from the OCS program at Fort Benning. So they kind of taken a, taking these college boys and tried to teach them a lesson. So, but. And uh, then um, that program folded. They decided they didn't need engineers, they needed infantry. We got sent out to Camp Carson, Colorado, where we joined the 104th <coughs> Timberwolf Division. Commanding General was terrible ter Terry Allen, who along with uh, James Roosevelt was in the first division in Africa, and he, he was pretty outspoken. He got into trouble with the brass, so he got pushed here, hither and yon along with Roosevelt. But uh, he became our, he came back to the States to, to form this division. At first we landed at uh, Cherbourg, on a, a converted, the George Washington, a converted uh, luxury liner. We had six tiers of bunks and we, we slept in shifts, and ate in shifts, S salt water showers. Uh, we slept, we were on deck while the rest were down below and then, then we'd go down below and they'd come up on deck. We landed at Cherbourg, which was the first port uh, directly, we came directly to, the, to that port without stopping in England. We were the first convoy to do that. For a while, we, uh, we landed at a little, it was a little village called Lassay. We patrolled the pipelines to keep the, the Frenchmen from breaking the pipeline and stealing the oil. And then we went up into Belgium and Holland to, the Germans occupied the Scheldt estuary and they had guns out on a peninsula. They could prevent the port of Antwerp from being used. So our job was to cut them off, which we did. And then we went back. Uh, we leave the first division at Aachen, which was the first city inside of Germany that was, that was taken. I remember pretty much rubble except for the cathedral. They purposely left the cathedral, it's a magnificent building. Let's see, November of 44, and then we were there uh, through Christmas. Let's see, we were on the, uh, the Roar River, R-O-E-R Roar River. 
and the Germans were right on the other side, and we were camped on this side. Mm -hmm. And um, while we were there, of course, we could see the Germans at night. We could see them in, in the daytime. Um, uh, as a, I, was a, I was a scout. They always made the small guys the scouts, I suppose. They, <laughs> scout, yeah, scout does two things. He goes out on patrol, and he, he probes to see where the enemy is. And the main reason you do that is, well, I think what he's referring to, I was the first scout of the first platoon of the first company of the first battalion of the first regiment of the first division of the whatever army it was. At one point, I was, I was the one nearest Berlin, as near as I could figure. Really? Yeah. yeah. I was way out in front. And uh, that was until a machine gun opened up and we all dove for a ditch. But that was what was supposed to happen. Yeah. Yeah. This, this non-com, who was not the sharpest knife in the drawer, took, took me out to lay, to lay uh, trip wires with flares b between us and the, and, and the riverfront. And the Germans were right on the other side of the river. And we got them all set up, and then he managed to trip over the wire and set the flares <laughs> off. <laughs> so there we were <laughs> laying out. I said a few choice words, which that, along with my other big mouth, I was made and busted four times. I never did get beyond PFC, but that was all right. You want to talk about the other three times? <laughs> Can't remember. <laughs> Selective memory is good. Yeah. yeah. There was this, like a mountain. They had carved out a huge cavern in this mountain originally probably to store oil and gasoline, but they were using it to build the, the V-2 rockets there. And they would work the people until they, they didn't feed them much, they didn't clothe them, and they died. They'd just shove them aside and put some more people in. I stayed in a hotel in, near Marble Arch, and there was a park there, and a, a buzz bomb, that was the, the, the area of the the V-2 rockets uh, landed right in the middle of the park, but it was a dud and it just thumped into the ground. Then one day we came to a river. And on the other side of the river were the Russians. 45. Oh, well, we were, by well, that time we had met the Russians and on the Elbe River. We'd gone all across Germany. We, we crossed several rivers and had several other battles and, and uh, met the Russians. And then, of course, we had to pull back because that later, that area became the German. So it must have been, uh, must have been at some time there then. When you met the Russians, did you actually meet the Russians? Oh, yeah, we saw them. Yeah. They, they, they were mostly drunk most of the time. And they were fire. they'd shoot their rifles off in the air and hoot and holler and you talked about terrible Terry Allen. Uh, did you pass cross with him at all? Not really. Uh, had very little to do with the top brass, actually. Well, given your given your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we were going to have a parade down in San Francisco uh, because our division was going to move to Can to San Luis Obispo and make the landings on Japan. But in the meantime, they had dropped the two big ones. And so, uh, but I was the corner man on the, of the whole formation, the, the, the first, the, the, the right-hand corner. So I was, if I, got out, if I got off course, everybody else would too, so. That's pressure. I must have been, I must have been good for something, I don't know. <laughs>